Hi everyone! So um, today I want to show you how I edit my outdoor portrait. You can use the same technique which are very very simple um, on outdoor portraits of any kind like whenever you want to give dreamy creamy soft light. It can be baby photography, children photography, whatever, model photography. So uh, again I repeat this is for the beginners so if you know uh, quite a lot of Photoshop, then I guess this video is not for you. Uh, basically, the channel I created for my uh, workshops, photography workshops participants, just to help them and to answer their questions. And the last question uh, was about this uh, exact portrait, how I achieve uh, these colors and the light. Yeah. So let's move ahead and first of all I have to say this is not about blurring the background because I used a really good lens, it's a Canon 135 and uh, you can see I already have a great bookie so I don't really need to blur anything uh, but I would like to add some light and some dreamy effect. So first of all I would uh, create a background copy by pressing command G, G. One minute. Command G. So I'm creating a background copy and working first on stray hair since uh, the wind is not in our hands so I've got some stray hair on the face, which I want to remove. I'm normally uh, usually using spot healing brush tool or patch tool. Both of them work just exactly the same way. Uh, so let's grab spot healing brush tool. Remember your brush should be of a very, very small size, just enough to cover the thickness, the size of the hair. And uh, hardness zero. So you just go ahead and enlarge your image. So if your brush is really uh, tiny, even uh, brushing across her eye, you will not uh, ruin any um, features, uh, just enough to remove the hair. So let's, let's remove the stray hair now, just a few of them, which are bothering, like across the nose. See if you have some traces, you can brush again, and if you are not satisfied yet, so you can just make your brush even smaller, tinier just the size of the hair you can remove the hair from the lip sorry I'm still getting nervous like I mean <laughs> it's not my regular voice and my first video when I was listening to uh, my first YouTube video um, I couldn't recognize myself I think I was very anxious to talk in front of nobody yeah exactly that way because when you have your audience it's like very easy but here I'm talking to my screen and that is very strange I don't talk to myself in a daily life so okay um, here we have a healing brush tool and I'm using it just to remove some spots a few of them maybe I can remove the hair as well, that is okay. I don't want to uh, bore you and go so precise on this one, just so you understand the flow, the process. Um, what is it? Yes, so now we go to histogram. As I can see, uh, my image is lacking of uh, highlights, 
So we have to balance it and I do it by going to image, adjustment and levels. So I can see exactly how much I need to pull on my highlights. It's showing this much. But now we got um, like too bright image so we can just compensate it with shadows and bring it back to normal. Yeah, now it is bright and nice. My darks are fine and my highlights are fine now too. So here we go, we hit OK and we see before and after. Yes, so now uh, I normally like prefer to uh, merge my layers. I never, I don't like that build up pyramids of uh, crazy amount of layers. So normally I merge them once I'm done with my task. So, but this time I want to show you before and after. So I'll, I'll, I think I'll keep it on. So now uh, we create a empty layer, just a simple empty layer and we grab a brush. Flow this time we will keep 100. And now we need the color of sunset. Uh, you can pick it from from the models uh, brightest part like but here the sun doesn't hit really directly the hair so we we don't have that color we can just guess it so say warm sunset colors something like that let's try and we make a small spot just like that pressing command T, we can modify our spot, our dot, and stretch it and move it wherever we want the light to come from. Kind of strange. Probably it's coming from here. Don't get scared, it's not yet it. We reduce the opacity now. And still continue moving our light. And if you need to modify it, go ahead, Command T. Keep on stretching, keep on changing the place. So now uh, I'll take an eraser and with the small flow, maybe I will. Erase some from the face. No, I don't need that much here. Yes, just like that. Okay, it's not yet it. It's not yet. So this is our main line, which is hitting her uh, hair. And then we create one more empty layer. But this time we change blending mode to soft light. Yes. And keep the flow much, much lesser. So the color now, because the soft floor uh, gives more color to the image. You can, you can just see, I will show that to you. Yeah, you get, oh, sorry. I'm working with a razor. Still nervous? Yeah. So flow at four. You can see that yellow color is much more intense uh, than if you keep it in a normal mode. So for that reason, we go to the colors and pick now lighter shade of the same yellow. And with the large brush, with the low, lower opacity we just continue brushing around the model to bring our bouquet more prominent yes something like that you can brush on her hair more if you want it brush around the model 
and no harm if you brush it over the hair as well. You bring the hair details back if you uh, feel it's needed there. So, there you go. You can also simply grab a razor and erase where you don't want it to be. Yeah, I, I kind of like that big knitting around the model. So, again, we can get back to our previous layer and see the position. Maybe we can slightly change it again. Um, this much. Yeah. So, basically, play with those two layers and modify the intensity of light the way it looks best. I am erasing that from the model because she is already bright enough. So this is uh, a quick dreamy effect. So let me just merge these ones and show you the before and after. I think it's looking quite good but of course uh, I would given it more time if I do it for myself uh, not yet uh, over now we create one more layer we need to bring her beautiful eyes out so we grab the brush again and use the simply white color with the flow and opacity 100 you can always change it later. Enlarge the image. Make the size of you want that reflection to be. Oh, sorry, it's still too big. Um, yeah, something like that. Yeah, now we leave it this way. I like it. Okay, now the mode we change from normal to overlay. Okay, so the eyes are shining, but shining too artificially. So we reuse the opacity just so it looks natural. This is it. Uh, you can see before and after. I'll just show you again before after before and after so here you get um, as a last uh, I would have edited some contrast probably with the same layers with the same levels too so probably I can give it more shadows um, just a little bit and a little bit more light. Yes. Just like that. So if you feel it is too dark, you can always add more light to that. Um, so this is our image, final. And uh, if you want to bring out the eyes even more, you can create one more empty layer, grab a brush, Use the white color again, soft light, very, very, very less flow, and just brush on top. Yeah, and reduce opacity how much you want. So now, eyes even more standing out. Yeah, so this is it. I hope you it was useful for you and you enjoyed so please uh, feel free to write in comments uh, what else you would like to see uh, from my side uh, on uh, creating my portraits uh, maybe studio maybe outdoor so all the best and bye bye <laughs>